Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a flip tag. This has it all. But first, let's have our shout out to June, Sherry, Evelyn, Colleen, Lenny, Chani, Jeannie, and Paula. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have some paper from digitalcollage.com and I have coffee dyed the back. And what I want to do is go ahead and fold this the long way, just like this. Give it a good crease. I'm going to bring in my ruler. I hope I have it right here. Here we go. Here's my ruler. And I want to go ahead and just rip this. So I'm just going to place my ruler right against here. And I'm going to just, oops. Well. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to rip it. There we go. Got that ripped. So now I have two pieces. And so I'm going to put the two pieces together just like that. And I want to go ahead and bring in my Tombow glue. And I'm just going to glue these two pieces together. So I need to go get some more glue out of my bag. But... We'll go ahead and use what we've got here. I do believe it will be okay. So I'm just going to add some glue to one of the pages, and then I'm going to place them together. Just like this. Alrighty, so now we look like this. The next thing I want to do is I want to fold this in half. And because this print is um, not really a right or wrong way to have it, it does not matter when I fold it. Whatever's going to be the front will be fine. Now, when I made my examples, it did kind of matter. And I do have two examples to show you, and they are totally different. So let's go ahead and just fold this in half, just like this. So now it's like this. And what I want to do is I want to, what I'm going to do, I should say, is I'm going to clean up this torn spot right here. I'm just going to clean it up. I tore it because it's wet, so now it's going to chew it. <clears throat> so now we're going to bring in our scissors. Uh, I tore it because otherwise I would have to take it to my, guillot my larger guillotine, and I didn't want to have to stop the video to do that. So... We've got that done, so now it's trimmed. Let's go ahead and let's, now we're going to have it open like this, like a book. So I do think I like this side better than this. I don't, I don't want that to go down. I'd rather, I don't know, I just like this better for whatever reason. <laughs> I'm going to trim this. Hopefully it's not going to chew it. And I'll go ahead and trim it on this side as well. Now I sewed one of my examples. <clears throat> the other example I did not. So let's go ahead and let's just trim this into a tag shape. So I'm just going to take a little bit off, not a lot. And I'm going to turn this and I'm going to take this off, just like this. So they'll be similar, but not, not exactly perfect, but they're very similar. I did get my new ink in. I'm so happy, you guys. So I have my new Distress Ink. <clears throat> it is kind of dark, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> so we're just going to ink this up very quickly here. And I'm going to ink up both the outside, the front, and the outside of the back. And then I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink in this part as well. So our tag's going to open up just like this. It's going to have all kinds of things out on the outside and on the inside. I'm not going to put anything on the very back. So that way, just in case, you would want to glue this part onto your page and have it open like this onto a page. You could actually sew it into a signature if you wanted to, and then you could decorate the back. But for now, we're going to do it just like this. So the next thing I want to do is I would like to bring in, let's see, where am I right here? 
I have a few things here, but now I don't know where I will put them. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've got this, but now I don't know where my other piece is. So let me pause this just for a second, and I've got to find it. I found it. So this right here is from, I'm sorry, but I'm going to butcher this. I do believe Dulcincha, Dulcincha, Scrap Annie. Anyway, these things will be listed down below in case you will, you want to know. And what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to glue just the ends the, on the long side, just the ends right here. I'm going to glue them onto my tag. So it's actually going to make a little belly band on the very front. So let's get this down just like that. Put my lid back on and let's place it. Let's see. Let's place it right here. That's perfect. Doesn't that look pretty, pretty on there? I think that's very pretty. Whoops, I'm moving around there. Okay, now I have a little tag and it's going to fit right in here perfectly, but let's jazz it up just a little bit. So I'm going to bring in just a little bit of lace here and I'm going to, this is the top, so I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to add my glue right on the back of the top of my tag and I'm just going to add a little bit of lace. I thought we would decorate as we go and then when we're finished it will be all ready to show you and complete. So I'm going to just trim this right here. Whoops, I trimmed into my pet, my card. Goodness gracious. Okay, it will be okay though. All right, so there we are there. Now let's add a little something on here. How about if we add just a little green bow? I think that's pretty and I think it's going to add to the the tag because it's going to fit right inside here just like this and that goes so nicely with the pretty green of this paper. <clears throat> so I also want to add <clears throat> excuse me a little bit of this lace right down below on the bottom of this tag just like this. There we go. And we're going to trim this off a little better than I did the tag. And then I'm going to add a little bit right here on the top. So once again, I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue. And I'm using hot glue because it's quick, it's easy, it's permanent, and I can keep designing and it's not going to move on me. So you can use any glue that you like, like fabric tack, whatever it is, you just use the glue that you like. It does not matter if we're using the same glue or not, not at all. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of this bling. Oh, isn't that pretty? So I'm just going to put my glue on here. I'm just going to place it right there, right there. That is so nice. I love that. So that's our front. Now we could bring in some of our little things and maybe, I think these are all too big. To add, ooh, that's kind of pretty on there. We could add a piece of uh, stamp that's from My Porch Prints. So if we want to do that, I have a little bit of different type of lace here. I think this is really pretty. And how about if we um, maybe turn it this way and just add a little bit on there just to give it a little interest. And do I want it to be like that, actually? That on top or this on top? Actually, you know what? I kind of like to put the stamp on the bottom because it's different. It's not something that, um, that I usually do to put the lace on top of the stamp, but I'm going to do that this time. I kind of like that illusion that it kind of gives. So let's go ahead and lay that on there. Just like that. So now we look like this. I like that. Let's open it up and let's see 
how we can decorate the inside. So I have a little pocket that I've made. It's going to go right here. That's really sweet, don't you think? And I'm going to take my Tombow glue. Once again, you use the glue of your choice. And I'm just going to add it and then I'm going to place it back in my lap. And I'm just going to put it right here. Now, it does not come all the way uh, to the ends, but that's okay because I'm not going to add much into this pocket. I'm just going to add a little bit. And that's going to be a little bit of a flip pad. So I have some paper here, and I just think that I would like to add, I'm kind of liking this. Do I like that to be the cover, or do I want, well, maybe something like this. Let me look at this for just a second here. What do I want this to be? That's pretty. I like that. Alrighty. We're just making a little flip book. So I have a little scrap. I have another little scrap. It's the same paper from here. These are Roxy's creations. I have a little bit of doily image on some coffee dyed paper. And I have some grid paper that also has line paper on the other side. And I actually think that I'm going to maybe offset this a little bit. Oh, can you all hear that? car was loud. I think I'm going to offset it and I'm just going to pull it back and place a little bit of glue on that. Now I already said that in one of my examples I sewed. Yeah, I think I said that. So I'm just going to do like that. Oh, we've got one more and I think I want that one right in the middle. So pull this back, add a little glue right here and then place it back. Alrighty, so now that's going to fit in just like this, and it actually could fit in like that. So now I want to decorate this up just a little bit. I think what I'd like to do is bring in some of this lace, and I'm just going to trim a little bit of it. And I have got, we've got this that we used earlier on the front. Let's add a little bit of this. It kind of has a green tint to it. Whoop! <laughs> there we are. It's back. And I've got a piece of sorry silk that I tied some yarn to. So I think that's a really pretty combination. We just layered it up. And the sorry silk is from my friend over at Crimson Heart Studio. I'm just going to, now all of this, like I said, is going to be listed at the bottom of the, um, the video in the description. And I'll add that. And I really like the way the thread looks with the sari silk. So I just tied the bow and then I just wrapped the, silk, the thread around and tied it. And just I just left the strings. And I'm going to go ahead and just trim it just like that. So I think what I'd like to do is place this inside of here. I think if I place it like this, okay. And I've got some numbers here. I thought if we add a number on this, do I want that number or do I want a 30? I think 30 looks good. So let's just add this 30 right here, just for some interest, you know, just for a little bit of something going on. Now, on this side, what I want to do is put a large flip. So I've got <clears throat> some more of that scrap. Say I'm still using the same scrap. I've got some coffee dyed tracing paper. This was also part of this. It was a antique letter is what I think they called it. And then I have some grid paper. So I'm just going to, once again, I'm just going to glue this all together just like this. Yeah, I got that glued together. Now let's put this one next. And I think 
Do we want that on the outside? I don't want this on the outside. Oh, I don't know. That is super cool looking, right? So I think I'll use that one on the outside. And I did round the edges and I did ink up the edges on all of this just to kind of prep it a little bit, just to make the video not be so lagging. So it, it would just move right along. Isn't that pretty where you can see that? tissue paper and you can see the lines and the letter and it sounds so wonderful doesn't it and I'm going to just lay this right on the top so I'm going to add my glue to this part I'm just going to lay it right there and I'm going to place this right on here and I do believe I just dropped my ruler but I don't think I need it anymore what I need to do is I need to um I'm going to glue this on and then I'm going to have to trim the edges just a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and I'm going to lay it right here. And then I'm going to need to turn it over and it comes out just a tiny bit, not a lot, just a tiny bit. But I do need to trim that off right there and trim it off right here. Okay. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. Now let's see here, we've got some more of these stamps and I do think they look so pretty with this color going on here. And I don't want to cover this up too much. I don't know, let's see here. I also have a little bit of this lace and I really think that that would be beautiful on there. So I'm going to trim, this is some vintage lace and I'm just going to trim that off. I'm going to add it right there. So I'm going to add some glue right on top. I'm just going to add this right here. Yeah. Oh, I think that looks wonderful. I'm going to put another glue stick in my glue gun real quick. I'm still back to this because I still think this looks fantastic. But you know, I'm going to need to trim it because it's just too big. I don't want to cover up all of this. So I'm actually just going to cut it and I'm just going to add it, cut, <laughs> onto my um, little paper here, just like that. I think, I think I'd like that just perfectly, just like that. Just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that down. So that goes right there. And do I possibly maybe want to use the other piece anywhere? Uh, no, not, I don't think so. I don't think I want to use the other piece. But I do want to add a little bit of bling right here on the top. Oh. I think that looks really nice up there. Do I want to add anything else up there? Maybe another little piece of this coming up. Mm -hmm. Let's add that right across. Whoa, there's a little extra blue right there. Right across, across the top, just like that. Let me press it down. Okay, now I'm going to trim that right here. I do like that. And let's go ahead and let's add the bling right on the top just to finish it off. Oh my goodness, yes, didn't that finish it off nicely? Isn't that beautiful? And so you've got a lovely flip book here. That is wonderful. And then you've got one that you can pull out. This one's stationary. This one you can pull out and then pop it right back in there, just like that. And then the front, and you've got your little belly band with your tag right there. Oh, I absolutely love these. Let me show you another one that I made. Now this one's out of Chapter 1 Papers right here. These tags are still from, um, I'm just going to call her Scrappy Annie because <laughs> I can't pronounce that name. And there's the little pull out flip book right here and the permanent flip book that's in here this way decorated like that oh my goodness that's just gorgeous this is the one that I sewed 
So I sewed all the way around and I actually sewed this part right here. You can see right there that I sewed that top part. Here's one that's extremely different. Look at this. Now this is some new paper that I just recently got. I can't even begin to tell you how to say this, but I will link it down below. And then inside it looks like this. And there's the removable flip pad. And then there's a little flip book right here. And that's just absolutely gorgeous as well. Oh my goodness, that isn't that paper special. Oh, very special. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.